Everyone and their mother is freaking out over this bold glam filter, so we're gonna try to recreate it. Jump scare! I have some things, so let's do it. Going in with a blurring primer because I did not have a single pore with that filter on. In case any of my pores are left, I'm gonna use a blurring BB cream too. This concealer is literally white because we wanna lift and snatch the face. I am built like an egg, but this filter gave me cheekbones. I want a little baby button nose. I was about to use this. What happened? <laughs> Did anyone else go follow Selena Gomez after all the drama? My brows are already dark, but this filter made them even darker. That's definitely aggressive. Why do I look like a who? Shine bright like a diamond. I really don't want to do this, but it's time to overline my lips. I already have lip filler, so this is a lot. It's giving fish from fishtails. Spot the difference. Okay, final reveal. This is me with the filter on, and here is me with the filter off. It looks even crazier because I already have a full face of makeup on. How do you guys think I did? Let me know in the comments. There are so many different kinds of people that go to Coachella. First, you got the people who somehow have everything in their bag. Oh, I think my foundation's messed up. Oh, your makeup's coming off? I have a mirror. We got oil wipes. I have liquid IV in case you're thirsty, a lip gloss. I also have a fan and some hair clips. Then you got the people who will take any opportunity they get to take a photo. Could you take a photo of me right now? The light is so good. Yeah, I guess. Slay, get it. Okay, were those cute? Um, sure. Okay, let's go over there and take some more too. Then you also have that friend who kind of can't hang but will rally for their favorite artist. Are you sure you're okay? We don't have to stay. Yeah, I'm fine. I have to watch Blink-182. You are incredibly determined. What kind of person would you be at Coachella? Get ready with me as I tell you guys about the time I had a stalker. When I first moved to LA, I lived in an apartment complex that had a gym with it. But then I moved to somewhere that had no amenities at all, so I had to go and get a different gym membership. Since my rent had gone up, I was like, um, bitch, I'm gonna save some money and go to Planet Fitness. Key piece of information, this was not in the best area at all. Everything had been totally fine, no weird experiences, until this one day I smiled at a dude in the parking lot and then he left a note on my windshield. I was just trying to be friendly because he was getting out of the car right next to me, but oops. the note basically said, you're cute, call me. And I kind of laughed at it and never did because it's weird. Fast forward two months, I had gotten a new car and it was like 9 p.m. I come out of the gym and there is a sticky note pasted right above my door handle. This is what the note said. Mm. Obviously someone was butthurt that I didn't text them. This man knew what my old car looked like, now knew what my new car looked like, and knew what time I went to the gym. I went back the next day and canceled it immediately, but they couldn't do anything about it. Hi, beautiful. I'm gonna be doing my whole face of makeup using only filters. Starting with eyebrows using this filter. I feel like my eyebrows are close to this already. <laughs> We're done with brows, let's move on. You already knew what I was gonna do for contour. My head is definitely a rectangle. I'm built like a Fruit Loops box. This is almost exactly how I normally do it. I feel like it's gonna look really good. Time for some freckles, let's see what we get. I guess I won't be wearing this makeup outside my house. This is actually not that easy. I picked the random Halloween eyeliner for some spice. Of course it gave me the most difficult one. I have no idea if this looks good or not. I should have done eyeshadow first, but all right. One of my friends just asked me to hang out. Uh, not right now. Lastly, we are doing some random lips. Come on. Should I send a picture to my crush like this? Okay, and this is our final look from all of those filters combined. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think I'm gonna go outside the house. I kind of killed it. I think I did a good job. Ooh, a button. No, don't press that. Why not? Nobody knows what it does and we're not allowed to press it. Why is it there then? I don't know why it's there, but you're not gonna be the one to find out. What if it's like a million dollars? Or what if it literally ends the world? You need to go to school and don't press it while you're there, okay? Okay, I won't. I heard that someone got rich from pressing it last year. What are you guys talking about? What the button does, we all wanna know. Someone told me that it's like a genie and if you press it, you get three wishes. Hey Bailey, I'll give you a hundred dollars if you press the button right now. Make it 200 and you got a deal. Easy, you got yourself a deal. You're not really gonna press the button, right? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Nobody knows and that's why you don't press it. We'll be fine. Does that say what I think it says? Oh my God, we're all gonna die. Hey, whoa, are you okay? No, dude, he broke up with me over the phone. I am so sorry. He does not deserve you. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taking selfies. But you were just sobbing like three minutes ago. Nah, I'm over it. Hey, table five needs a refill on their wine. Okay, I'll do it in one sec. Here's another drink for you guys. Is there anything else I can get you? No, but you seem like a beautiful soul. Have a Merry Christmas. Thanks. Someone left a gift for you on the to-go counter. A gift? 
Maybe it's from one of my regulars. You're so lucky. I wish I'd get a gift. You are the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Enjoy the makeup. Secret Santa? I don't know anyone who would have given me an anonymous gift. The mystery is part of the fun. Enjoy it. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, Bailey. I am not taking table four. They smell like broccoli and B.O. No, there's another gift for you. Oh, here's something to remind you of me. Secret Santa. You have to find out who's been leaving me these. Excuse me, ladies. Everyone keep taking breaths. Get as much air as you can. I'm trying. Why are they going to limit our breaths anyway? This is stupid. We're running out of oxygen, so this was their solution, I guess. Why aren't you taking any breaths? I am. <sighs> They just sent them out. I got a million. What? How many did you get? I only got four. Close your mouth right now. Don't waste any of your air. You need to hold your breath for as long as you physically can today, okay? Do you not have any breaths? You look like a chipmunk. Wait, like none at all? You need to be careful. You're gonna die. Are you okay? You look a little pale. Are you sure? Because you don't look very good. Oh my god, are you okay? Oh no. Can someone give her more breaths? She only has two left. I can do it. I have a lot of them. Then do it. She needs them now. I just did. Thank you. Whoever distributes the breaths must really not like you. What? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Uh, uh nothing. You are a terrible liar. You know you can't go outside until you turn 21. But why? I'm 18. Isn't that close enough? No, you're not going outside. I need to know what's out there. I'm going to work. Don't try anything while I'm gone. Okay. See you later. Why is there nothing good on Netflix right now? Who's there? That's definitely not my mom. Bailey, honey, listen to me. There's somebody inside the house. I saw it on the camera. You have to leave now. But I can't go outside. It's just this one time. The police are on the way to save you right now. What do you mean they'll save me? Okay, this is it. I'm going out the window. Wow. <coughs> Why am I on a beach? I must have gone too hard last night if I don't even remember where I'm at. That guy over there is like not moving. I should probably check if he's okay. Hello, sir. Are you okay? Dude, yo. Maybe he'll wake up if I slap him. <coughs> oh, that was a lot of water. Are you okay? You you just saved my life. Oh, no, I was just walking by. Was that a mermaid? Forget about that. I'm in love with you. You've saved me. <gasps> I was not supposed to find you. What? What are you talking about? Nothing. You have to come meet my father. I can show him I finally found a wife. I'm sorry, wife? I'm Prince Eric, and I would love for you to be my princess. <laughs> I can't get married to you. What? You have to marry me. That's how the story goes. Oh, there you are. Good morning, dork. I am not a dork. Whatever you say. Hey, do you think my new haircut looks dumb? I don't like it. I think it looks really good. Right. You have to say that because you're my best friend. That's not true. You look great. Did you hear that we're getting a new student too? Yeah, we haven't had a new student in so long. <laughs> I know, I wonder who it's gonna be. Class, everyone meet Macy. Whoa, she's so pretty. Yeah, I, I guess so. Hey Macy, you should come over here. Take a seat next to us. Hi guys. Oh, uh, my name's Jason and this is Bailey. Nice to meet you. You should come sit with us at lunch. Would that be okay? Yeah, for sure. Good morning. Uh, you didn't leave a seat open for me. Oh, my bad. I kind of forgot. I'll see you at lunch then. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Macy, what were you saying? Girl, you better tell him that you love him. I don't love him. Are you sure about that? You dropped this. Oh, thank you. I don't even own a TV. Whatever, I guess I'll just throw this away. What is this? I guess the only way to find out is to push one. Now I just have to figure out what that exactly paused. Why did all those people freeze at the exact same time? Does this pause time? Oh, I'm gonna get some good use out of this. Everyone, please put your phones away for the test. I forgot about the test. I know what to do. I'm just gonna steal the answer key real quick. Don't mind me, sorry. Play. You may now begin, you have one hour. Hey, uh, can I talk to you? What's up, babe? Yeah, so I'm sorry, but I have to break up with you. What? Mm, just one second. 
Hey, babe. Oh, uh, hey, what's up? I'm breaking up with you. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Bye. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Come, I'll show you. Hi, I'm Rachel, and that's Tim. But if you like, you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm pregnant! I'm gonna have a baby sister? I mean, she won't be your real sister, but yeah. Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. No, you're too old for them now. Don't be selfish. Hand them over. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch her! Mom, the baby's crying. I think she's in the shower. It's okay, it's okay. Peekaboo! <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mom! <gasps> oh my gosh! I was just- I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was crying and you were in the shower, so I just picked her up and she fell asleep. I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her to me! How dare you disobey me! I was just singing her a song. Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. Did you steal that from our baby? No, I'm sorry. I just, I was feeling sad and I usually have these stuffed animals when I'm sad. I told you to give that to the baby. You don't need that anymore. Let me see it. No, my real parents gave this to me. Oh, I see how it is. We don't allow rudeness in this house. No. I think we should give her back to the adoption center. No, please, I'll do anything. Uh, I mean, we do need someone to help around the house with this new baby. Will you help us clean? If if I do that, then can I stay? Huh. Okay, as long as you're obedient and you clean well, you can stay. Did you finish the laundry? Yes. Good, because there's crumbs all over the floor. Get to it. What? Is there any way that I can have some dinner? She needs to be fed first. Listen, we both have to leave and we need you to watch the baby. You're gonna let me watch her? Yes, because we have to, but if anything happens to her, I'm bringing you back to that adoption center. Understand? We'll be home by 10. Her bottles are in the fridge. Hey, it's okay. Where are they? Hi, it's me again. I'm just wondering where you guys are at because it's already midnight. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Officer, are they- Well, kid, it uh, looks like your mother is in critical condition and your father, he, he didn't make it, kid. I'm sorry. Your mom wants to see you. I'll hold her for you, honey. I'll watch over her, too. Be careful with her. We will, kid. Oh, I- Come here. I'm so sorry that my real daughter is going to be stuck with you. Ow! I should have never adopted you. Doctor! We lost her. I believe these belong to you. I'm so sorry, kid. Thank you. You and your sister are adorable. You didn't deserve to be treated like that, you know? My wife and I are actually looking to adopt. Really? Yeah. We've always wanted daughters. I can talk to my wife. Would you like that? Oh, kid, come here. She's back, and with more fashion trends from the 2000s that we have to bring back. Listen, hear me out for one second. The denim on denim is kind of hot. I love it. Especially in like this couple's aesthetic and with the necklace, I'm obsessed. I will now be buying a denim corset. Track suits, like why do we ever stop wearing these? They're so cute and you don't have to put any effort in because it already matches. I'm gonna buy this, but in hot pink. Just everything about Christina Aguilera, the gloves, the chain, the hats, I love the hats. Obviously, I already did the braids too. I think they're so cute. Also, just everything Avril Lavigne did. Like, are you kidding me? This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I have these arm cuffs and I bought a tie because of this look. I'm obsessed with cargo pants and I'm very glad that they're coming back into style. Let me know what trends you missed from the 2000s because I have so many more. These are some trends from the 2000s that we need to bring back immediately. First of all, the black and white hair. It's just so good. I wish I could do it, but I'm afraid I'm gonna burn all my hair off. Somebody else needs to eat this up and tag me, please. You might want to argue with me, but low rise jeans and hear me out. As someone who is not very tall, this makes my torso look so much longer because I have children sized legs. 
The crimped hair, mama. Why did we ever stop doing this? I kind of love the texture. It's fun, it's crazy, it's messy, but on purpose. Last but not least, okay. This, this whole aesthetic. The belt and the cargos and the bracelets, yes. I would literally wear this tomorrow if I had all of this. Comment a trend that you wanna see come back. I can't punch someone in the face, that is so mean. Wait, but for a thousand dollars, who's my victim? Hey sis. Uh, yeah, what's up? Remember that one time you stole my white blouse and got hot sauce all over it? Um, yeah, I remember that. I said sorry. It's time for my payback. Dude, you broke my nose. Yes, I'm rich. What's next? I want to buy myself a Chanel bag. You want me to cut someone's ponytail off? I'm sorry, but for 10K, I have to. Mom, I'm so sorry for what I'm about to do. What? What do you mean? Did you just cut all my hair off? Uh, yeah, looks like it. If I have to be bald, so do you. <gasps> I'm sorry. What? I can't do that. I'm gonna get arrested. I'll help you finish the challenge if you give me half the prize money. Hi, beautiful. I'm gonna be doing my whole face of makeup using only filters. Starting with eyebrows using this filter. I feel like my eyebrows are close to this already. <laughs> We're done with brows. Let's move on. You already knew what I was gonna do for contour. My head is definitely a rectangle. I'm built like a Fruit Loops box. This is almost exactly how I normally do it. I feel like it's gonna look really good. Time for some freckles. Let's see what we get. I guess I won't be wearing this makeup outside my house. This is actually not that easy. I picked the random Halloween eyeliner for some spice. Of course, it gave me the most difficult one. I have no idea if this looks good or not. I should have done eyeshadow first, but all right. One of my friends just asked me to hang out. Uh, not right now. Lastly, we are doing some random lips. Come on. Should I send a picture to my crush like this? Okay, and this is our final look from all of those filters combined. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think I'm gonna go outside the house. I kind of killed it. I think I did a good job. Everybody always told me to pick 80 years, but I wanna know what happens. Morning, Mom. Honey, why did you pick 10 hours? I don't want to lose you. You don't know for sure that's going to happen. I want to know. I'm going to school. Bye, Mom. Hi, Mr. Fitz. Giselle, you only have nine hours left. I just want to say it was a pleasure having you in my class. You were a great student. Uh, thank you. Oh, well, looks like somebody is dying tonight. How about you mind your own business for once, Jessica? At least I don't have to worry about bullying you anymore. Hey, um, do you know anything about the timer? You only have six hours left. You should have picked the 80 like everybody told you to. What if I'm really gonna die? What if I'm really gonna die? Okay, here it goes. Three, two, one. Wait, I'm not dead? Hey mom, look, I didn't die. Yes, honey, but there's a three on your face. What do you mean there's a three on my face? Here, look. I wonder what that means. Whatever, I'm going to school. Good morning, Mr. Fitz. Oh my gosh, Giselle, you're not dead. And there's yeah, a- I know. There's a three on my face. I don't know what it means either. Okay then, just take a seat. Okay. Well, well, well. Look who's alive after all. Jessica, don't start. I actually want to apologize for bullying you. Here, yeah, please take this. Thank you. I don't feel so... Hey mom, my nose is bleeding. Could you please pass me a tissue? Here you go, honey. Thank you. Mom, my blood. It's blue. It's blue? Get out of my house. But mom, I... No but. You're one of them. Hey girl, my mom just kicked me out. Can I please come crash at your place? Yeah, sure. Come right over. Thanks. Thanks so much for letting me stay here. What's wrong with your nose? Oh, it's just a nose thing. Let me see. You freak. Leave immediately. You better stay away from me. What's happening? I have to get to the bottom of this. Hey, doctor. What seems to be the problem? My blood is blue. Do you know what's happening to me? You have to come with me. You're a... Hey, doctor. And what seems to be the problem? My blood is blue. Do you know what's happening to me? We have to go. You're a... I'm a what? It's not safe here. I'll tell you somewhere else. Come with me. 
Where are we going? And why is it getting worse? Because you're transforming. Transforming into what? Look, it's a blue blood. What do we do? Run as fast as you can. Don't worry, you're safe here. Where are we? How could you bring her here? It's not safe. Don't worry, she's one of us. What exactly am I? You're immortal. Wait, I'm immortal? Don't worry, you're safe here. Where are we? How could you bring her here? It's not safe. Don't worry, she's one of us. What exactly am I? You're immortal. Wait, I'm immortal? Yes. How's that even possible? I'll explain later. Come with me. First things first, cover up all the blue with this. Why do I have to cover it up? Because if you don't, people will come looking for you. And what happens if they find us? They'll kill us. Now go do as I say. I covered it up. Good. Now go out and pretend as if you know nothing. Excuse me, miss. We're looking for the blue bloods. Have you seen one? I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait. Your nose. Stay right where you are. Don't try to run. Come on. Please give me blue. Mom will disown me if I get red. Pink? What the hell is pink? Why are you wearing that shirt? Oh, because that's the color I was assigned. You need to go take it off right now. What? Why? You cannot be walking around wearing pink. Go put on blue instead. Okay, geez. Is this better? Yeah, nobody will be able to tell now. Okay, good. Oh, Bailey, you got blue too? Um, yeah, I did. Why did you say it like that? You seem nervous. Like what? I'm not nervous. I heard that Martha got the color purple. Like what? <laughs> Purple? That's crazy. What does that mean? I don't know, but they said they're gonna kill anyone with a different color. They're gonna what? Um, yeah, you didn't know that? Are you okay? No, I'm fine. I just hope that nobody got pink. That's the worst color of all. What did you say? If we don't leave now, he's gonna come out to kill you. Okay, let's go. Shouldn't we, like, call the police on him, though? No, that's what I did, and in the future, they never got him. I'm gonna save you from all of this. I'll be right back. How are you gonna save me? I'm gonna kill him so that you can have a normal life. What? Isn't that a bad idea? Of course not. It'll be fine. Okay, I did it. It's done. That was so fast. I have to go back to the future now. Bye. You're just gonna leave? I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't get home right now. She just killed someone and wants me to go get a Red Bull? Fine, whatever. There she is. Excuse me. Is your name Bailey? Yes. You're under arrest for the murder of your recent boyfriend. Whoa, whoa, I didn't do that. This videotape is showing you committing the crime. That's not me. Uh you have the right to remain silent. You'll be coming to the station with us. Today I'm going to be picking out my outfit with a blindfold on. We have moved to the inside of my closet and I'm just going to blindfold myself. I don't even know where I'm going. We're just going to reach this one. I feel like I should look. <laughs> okay, we might as well pick out a coat too with this. Oh, I actually really like this jacket. Now on the floor, and whatever the first shoes I touch are, I'm gonna wear them. Okay. Oh! This is my skirt drawer, honestly. I, oh, I'm just gonna dig through here. I'm gonna go for the bottom ones because I don't even know what's down there. What am I holding on to? Okay, hello? Let's just try on the full fit and see what it looks like. Are we ready for the final fit? Because I don't know if you can handle all this. Upon putting this top on, I realized that it's actually broken. <laughs> this was kind of a moment. And then we just lift the leg, mm, put it back down, put it back down. Rate my outfit one to 10 in the comments. <laughs> red Rover, Red Rover, we call Brianna over. Mommy, there's little girls calling me. You need to find them, they'll be holding hands and you need to break through or they'll take you. <laughs> Come join us, Brianna. You're almost out of time. <laughs> this morning, Little girls called me to play Red Rover. My mommy says it's not real. It's just a myth. It's a fake story. You're lying. No, it's not. I saw them. I had to break through their hands. Stop lying. Red Rover, Red Rover. We call Ellie over. Who's there? Who's calling me? Ellie, do you hear them? The little girls? You need to find them and break through. Or they'll take you. I don't believe you. Hurry up. You only have 20 seconds. No, no, it's not real. Ellie, hurry up. 
Do you hear them, the little girls? You need to find them and break through. Well, they'll take you. I don't believe you. Hurry up. You only have 20 seconds. No, no, it's not real. Ellie, hurry up. Come join us, Ellie. Ah! Ellie, you survived. I know, I'm so lucky. So what is real? The game of Red Rover? Yes, it is. I saw them, the little girls. I told you guys it was real. You didn't believe me. Red Rover, Red Rover. We call Katie over. Don't play Red Rover. The little girls might hear you and call you over. We are the little girls. So that means they, they... They took us. And you're going to be next. No, no, please tell me you're joking. <laughs> die in the dark or die in the light? I have to choose dark. Light is everywhere. There's no way I can avoid it. Hey, Bree. Bree. Sorry, I was just sleeping. I've learned to sleep with my eyes open because if I close my eyes too long, I'll die. What are you talking about? Oh, wow, that skirt is so cute. Thanks, it's from Halora. It's super stretchy, it has built-in shorts, and the best part is, because of the design, it doesn't ride up. It's too bright in here, let's turn the lights off. No, don't do it, if it gets dark in here, I'll die. Hey Bree, are you okay? Yeah, my vision's just a little blurry. I think I need my eyes checked. Thanks for coming in today, Brianna. I have some unfortunate news to tell you. You're rapidly going blind. Wait, if I go blind, that means... Everything will be dark. I have some unfortunate news. You're rapidly going blind. Wait, if I go blind, that means everything will be dark. Everything's getting so blurry. Brianna, how'd it go at the eye doctors? Not good. I'm rapidly going blind. And if I go blind, everything will be dark. That means... Oh no. Brianna, that skirt is so cute. Thank you. It's a lucid skirt from Halara. It has built-in shorts and it looks good with every angle. No way. I got the option again. I have to choose light this time. Yo, why are you covering your eyes? Because if I see the light, I'll die. For lying. Move your hand. Hey, is this biology? Uh, yeah, it is. Then why is nobody else in here? Oh, someone stabbed the teacher and nobody really comes to class anyways. Okay. Do you want to take a sip of this? What is it? Uh, it's red wine and a bunch of stuff I found in my dad's closet. It's 8 a.m. on a Wednesday. When you guys talk, I see rainbows coming out of your mouth like a unicorn. I think we need to call the nurse. We don't have a nurse anymore. She got scared and quit. What kind of school doesn't have a nurse? Don't look now, but it's Nate Jacobs. Him and Maddie are fighting again. That kid's in high school. He looks like he's 27. That girl is not wearing clothes. Do you guys even have like a dress code? No, nah, last time they enforced that, a teacher got bitten. Mm. Do you want a hit of this? Are you smoking inside? <sighs> yeah. Do you want some or not? I'm good, thank you. You guys have probably figured out by now, I am obsessed with music, it brings me to life. Which is why you can join me live on Tidal on April 4th using their new live session feature. You can listen to my top 10 tracks that prove romance is dead. I cannot wait to share these with you all, so make sure you join the live session. Happy 18th birthday, sweetheart. Thanks, so I've been meaning to ask. Since I'm old now, can't I go outside? No, you are not allowed to go outside. But mom, Enough with this nonsense. You are not going outside. Okay. And remember, you have to heal me when I come back from work, okay? I know, I do it every day. Can everyone else heal people too? Uh, of course they can. It's not just you. Well, then why don't you heal yourself? Uh, it doesn't work. I have to get going. See you later. Who's there? Hey, uh, don't panic, but... Ah! Damn, you can punch kind of hard, Blondie. And I'll do it again. Who are you? I was running away from some bad people and I just needed somewhere to go. I'm sorry. I'll let you escape under one condition. Uh, okay, anything, anything. I have to come with you. You guys have probably figured out by now, I am obsessed with music. It brings me to life. Which is why you can join me live on Tidal on April 4th using their new live session feature. You can listen to my top 10 tracks that prove romance is dead. I cannot wait to share these with you all, so make sure you join the live session. Happy 18th birthday, sweetheart. Thanks. So, I've been meaning to ask. Since I'm old now, can't I go outside? No, you are not allowed to go outside. But mom... 
Enough with this nonsense. You are not going outside. Okay. And remember, you have to heal me when I come back from work, okay? I know, I do it every day. Can everyone else heal people too? Uh, of course they can. It's not just you. Well, then why don't you heal yourself? Uh, it doesn't work. I have to get going. See you later. Who's there? Hey, uh, don't panic, but... Ah! Damn, you can punch kind of hard, Blondie. And I'll do it again. Who are you? I was running away from some bad people and I just needed somewhere to go. I'm sorry. I'll let you escape under one condition. Uh, okay, anything, anything. I have to come with you. Come on, please give me blue. Mom will disown me if I get red. Pink? What the hell is pink? Why are you wearing that shirt? Oh, because that's the color I was assigned. You need to go take it off right now. What? Why? You cannot be walking around wearing pink. Go put on blue instead. Okay, geez. Is this better? Yeah, nobody will be able to tell now. Okay, good. Oh, Bailey, you got blue too? Um, yeah, I did. Why did you say it like that? You seem nervous. Like what? I'm not nervous. I heard that Martha got the color purple. Like what? <laughs> Purple? That's crazy. What does that mean? I don't know, but they said they're gonna kill anyone with a different color. They're gonna what? Um, yeah, you didn't know that? Are you okay? No, I'm fine. I just hope that nobody got pink. That's the worst color of all. What did you say? Oh, thank goodness it's only one. I don't want to have any competition. A thousand? How does he even know a thousand people? A hundred thousand? This can't be right. What's wrong? I don't know. Maybe it's just that a hundred thousand people are simping over my soulmate. Whoa, a hundred thousand? Mine is none. Oh, well you're lucky then. One million? Oh wow, he must be famous. I know. I gotta find him before those girls do. He's my soulmate. I have to be the one he chooses. Okay, so what are we thinking? Is he like worldwide famous or social media famous? Hmm. Two million? He's getting more famous and more simps by the minute. I should give up. I'm never gonna find him. And if I do, how am I gonna compete with two million girls? You can't give up. That's your soulmate. I'm so sorry. Watch where you're going, nerd. E excuse me, nerd? Who do you think you are? How about you watch your manners next time? I'll do as I please. OMG, I can't believe you talked him that way. Do you know who he is? No, and I don't think I want to. He's kind of a jerk. He's low-key social media famous. He has over 2 million followers on TikTok. What? Bestie, I think I found my soulmate. <laughs> That's great. Why are you upset? Because he's an entitled TikTok influencer. Come on, give him a chance. Ask him out on a date. You might change your mind. You're right. I need to know if he's truly my soulmate or not. Hey. Hey, nerd. So, I think he might be my soulmate. Let me explain. My soulmate has over 2 million people crushing on them, and you have over 2 million followers on TikTok. So I just need to go on a date with you to test if this theory is true or not. So you like me? No, I never said that. I said that you might be my soulmate. Makes sense. My soulmate has zero crushes. Then it must not be me, because I would have way more than that. I don't think so. Do you want to go on a date or not? Sure. I'll pick you up at 11. Alright. Sounds good. See you then. Oh, that must be him. Hey. Wow, you look beautiful. I, I do? Yeah, I mean, for a nerd. We had a moment there, and you ruined it. Let's go. This is a really nice place you brought me. Isn't it? It's one of my favorites. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... Your crushes keep going up. Do you feel insecure? Yeah, I mean, a little. Three million girls is a lot of competition. Yeah, three million girls is a lot, but you're the only one on a date with me. And you're the only one that I see. Did you also just... <laughs> yeah, I did. The date was amazing. OMG, I saw you on TikTok. You're so cute. <laughs> did you just bark at me? She's a psycho. Are you serious? How do you have four million crushes? 
Hey, do you have a pencil I can borrow? Uh, sure. Here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why are you mad? I thought we talked about this already. Sorry, I guess I just wanted you all to myself. It's such a beautiful day out today. Isn't it? Hey, cutie, are you by chance single? No, he's not actually. He has a girlfriend, and it's me. Oh, really? Yes! Stop acting like this. You're acting crazy. I can't do this anymore. Why do you have so many crushes all of a sudden? I do? Really? How many? 200. 200? Nice! How was that nice? Says the guy with over 4 million simps. How did you do it? I, uh, I started TikTok. Let me see. No, no, don't! Seriously? You're posting thirst traps? 2,000 crushes, really? I have 2,000 crushes already? I can't believe I ever even liked you. How can you even be upset? You have way more crushes than I do. Yeah, but I didn't purposely get people to crush on me just to spite you. Look, I'm sorry. I was just jealous, and I thought if I had lots of crushes too, we could be equal. Save it, alright? I'm leaving. Have fun with your simps. Yeah, and you have fun with yours. Stop posting thirst traps on TikTok. Very bold of you to say. Oh, would you look at that? Four million one hundred thousand. Four million two hundred thousand. Wow, your crushes are going very fast. Cut it out already. Who are you to tell me what to do? We broke up, right? This is getting out of hand. Just stop posting. I'll stop posting when you stop. Hey. Look. I don't want your critique any longer. I'm here to say I'm sorry. I get it. I understand how you're feeling. It's hard to see people fall for the person you like. It's my fault too. I was being insecure. You know what I think of this whole crush soulmate thing? You covered my crushes. Yeah, let's not look at them anymore. They don't define our relationship. You're right. I like it better this way. Hey, whoa, are you okay? No, dude, he broke up with me over the phone! I am so sorry. He does not deserve you. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taking selfies. But you were just sobbing like three minutes ago. Nah, I'm over it. I don't know if you guys remember, but a while ago, I had wispy bangs. My intrusive thoughts are getting to me right now, and I kind of want them back. So come with me to cut my hair and potentially fuck it up. I'm gonna do very small sections because you can always cut more hair off. Unfortunately, you cannot put it back. This feels like too much, even though it's like four strands of hair. Okay, I think this is good. <laughs> you know what? We don't have time to be a baby. I'm gonna cut it short first. Oh, <laughs> I already like it. It's not even short enough, but it's cute. I almost forgot to film myself cutting more. Okay, I hope that wasn't too much. That might have been a little short. <laughs> no way, actually, I'm crying. <laughs> It's not that bad, right? Okay, I think I'm just dramatic. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Honestly, I should have left them long. Next video is gonna be me selling this hair on eBay so that I can buy a wig to cover this. Please be a long time. I really wanna stare at Josh in fourth period. What? What am I supposed to do if I can't see the whole day? Hey, what do you think of this shirt I'm wearing? Uh, nothing, since I only got four minutes to see today. Um, Bailey, I'm to your right. Oh. Am I gonna have to drive to school today? No, bitch, I'll drive. You can't see. Right. <laughs> um, you're in my seat. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. You're not even looking at me. Shouldn't you check before you sit down? I literally can't Quite see so. anything. Well, then feel around or something. I don't know. Damn. Don't worry, Stacy. This will teach her. Who did that? Y'all are assholes. She did not deserve that. Thank you. I'm over here. Sorry. Oh, wow. <clears throat> uh, you're really beautiful. Bye, Mom. I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you put on the makeup? I ran out. Oh, great. Well, looks like you're not going to school. What? Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's even gonna notice. I said no! You know what will happen if people see that mark. They'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I'll buy you makeup when I get back. I love you. I love you more.
I love you most. See you after work. I had a big test today, and I'm not supposed to miss it. No one's gonna notice this. I'll just take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Hey, what's that on your neck? <gasps> I've seen that mark before. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You must be the lost princess. Legend says you have powers. Powers? What? No, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna Wait. happen. I'm home. What's wrong? Something happened. Who else saw the mark? Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost princess. <laughs> you, a princess, please. Just look at your chubby little face. You look nothing like royalty. Uh, you must never go outside again. Never? Yes, you've been exposed. It's much too dangerous now. Don't be so sad, dear. I know. I'll go get you some food. You just relax. Watch some TV. This just in, a teenage boy is on the run from the cops today after allegedly stealing a crown from the royal family. Mom? Mom? Jeez, who designed these locks? <gasps> that is definitely not Mom. He's probably here for my mark. Good thing I have some more makeup. Whoa, wasn't expecting anyone to be home, but hey. Stay back. I'm warning you. I'm highly trained in the art of... Origami. Isn't that paper folding? I was kind of hoping you wouldn't know what that was. Relax, dollface. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to stash something. So, if you'll excuse me. Oh, I just knocked him out. I just knocked him out. I wonder what he was trying to stash. A crown. This must be from the royal family. <gasps> Mom's home. I gotta hide him. Riley, I'm tired. Please give me a hand massage. I will, but after. Right now, I wanted to tell you that you don't have to worry about me going outside anymore. I Quite told so. you, you it's too dangerous. To no, walk. Mom, I can protect myself because I just... Enough! Oh, now I'm the bad guy. You didn't have to yell. I'm so sorry, Riley. I've just been so stressed out trying to keep you safe. I really need that massage. Do you feel better now? Yes, thank you. You always make me feel better, dear. Now, do you promise you won't try and go outside? I promise. I I don't know what I was thinking. That's a good girl. Well, I'm off to my date, and if all goes well, I might just bring you home a new father. <laughs> okay, um, wake up. <sighs> Whoa, what the? Did you tape me to this chair? Actually, yes. I did, but I'll be asking you questions here. I want to know why you have this. Hey, you went into my bag? You went into my house. Listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but you give me no choice. I'm gonna have to do the look. Huh, that uh, usually makes the girls go crazy. What's that on your neck? <gasps> the makeup must have come off. Well, here's your bag back. Thank you. Oh, quite so. Hey, are you okay? You well, yeah, I'm, so I'm fine. Oh no, your bump got worse. No, it's fine, really. Hey, just let me see it. What the? It's gone. How'd you do that? I don't know. Wait, the X on your neck, healing powers? You're the lost princess. Why does everyone keep saying that? I look nothing like royalty. Have you seen my face? Yeah, I'm looking at it. That's why I call you Dollface, because you're cute. What's your real name? Riley. Well, Riley, everyone knows that the royal family had a daughter that went missing 18 years ago. And how old are you? 18. Listen, I think you may have been kidnapped. No, I know my mom, and she would never do something like that. Is that your mom in that photo? Yeah. She looks nothing like you. You should come with me. I'm pretty sure that you're in- Ugh! She's not going anywhere. <coughs> now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> I get to pick whether I'm gonna have a baby brother or a baby sister? Pick sister. But I want a baby brother. Are you the one delivering the baby? No. Then pick sister. Fine. She's here. Hi. Shh, no, don't cry. It's okay. Give her to me. You're holding her wrong. Hey, what are you doing? Your little sister needs toys. You're way too old for that anyways. Ready? Catch. Ow! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you in the eye. <laughs> My baby. What did you do to her? It was an accident. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what? Go to your room. Your sister needs a blood transfusion. What? Yes, it's a really long story, but I told them you would donate your blood. Come on, we gotta go to the hospital now. Wait! You need to donate your blood to your little sister. Come on, we have to get to the hospital now. Wait! Okay, honey, let me see your arm. Samantha! I'm sorry, I can't do it. You know I have a fear of needles. 
Your little sister needs your help. Ma'am, we cannot force her. Maybe you want to donate? Yeah, why don't you donate your blood? After all, she's your favorite. Okay, I'll remember this. Mommy and I are going on vacation. What about me? You're staying here. You have school. We'll only be gone for two weeks or so. Two weeks? But what about food and- You can drive, and here's money for food. Now say bye, sissy. Bye, sissy. I used up all the money mom gave me for gas for school, and now I'm starving, and there's nothing to eat. Sorry you missed me. Leave a message after the beep. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Officer Bloom. Your neighbors have reported this house. Are your parents home, sweetheart? Why did my neighbors report my house? My report says that they heard a young female crying for over an hour. What's the matter, sweetheart? My mom, she went on vacation with my little sister, but she's not answering. Okay, how about your dad? We're not really in contact with him anymore. Listen, you're not in trouble, but would it be okay if I take a look inside your house? That's our pantry. This is all baby food. Yeah, so all that stuff is for my baby sister. All right, but what about your food? I gotta report this then. Wait, um, is my mom gonna get in trouble? Because if that's the case, I take back what I said. She did leave me like a little bit of money for food. Relax, everything's gonna be okay. Officer, I can assure you I am not neglecting my daughter. Do you think I could have a word with her alone? Go right ahead. You called the cops on me? I'm sorry, I didn't. The neighbors did because... Shh. Do you want to take care of your baby sister by yourself? Then tell the cop what I tell you to say. You're going to tell the cop exactly what I say. You sure you're okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. Sissy, you want to play? Not right now, okay? <laughs> Mommy... Sissy's being mean to me. She is. I wasn't. I was just telling her that I didn't want to play right now. Baby, go watch Coco Melon. I'm gonna talk to Samantha. Honey? What? I got in contact with your father. No, you didn't. Yes, Samantha, I did, and he has kindly offered to let you live with him. No, Mom, I don't want to go live with him. He's expecting you. Come on, we have to go. No, I haven't talked to him in a long time. I'm not going. Fine. Samantha, dinner's ready. I'm not hungry. Well, that's not what you told the cop, now is it? You said I don't feed you, so here's your food. Is it good, Samantha? Good. Mom? Yeah? I, um, I don't really feel so good. Why is Sissy sleeping? Because we're going on a road trip. Mom, where are we going? Mommy, Sissy's talking to you. Sissy needs to rest, honey. Just ignore her and watch your show. <gasps> Coco Melon! Hello? We're here. Okay, there's your daughter. Go ahead and carry her inside. Karen, she's 17. I'll just wake her up. Come on, Samantha. Hey, wake up. Let's go inside. What the hell is wrong with her? Look, she wasn't gonna come, so I... Karen, are you kidding? Mommy, who's that? He's no one, honey. Just watch your show. Actually, sweetheart, I'm your father, and you guys are coming with me. No, Daniel, we agreed. You take Samantha, and I keep Susie. Besides, you left us because you didn't want kids anymore. Well, now I'm changing my mind after seeing what you do to Samantha. No. Yes, I want my daughters back. You can have one. How about none? Because I called the police. You what? Patty, patty cake, cake, patty, patty cake, cake, baker's men. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. can. Girls, I just wanted to say thank you for giving me a second chance. Yeah, you know, ever since mom has been out of the picture, I've actually really appreciated the fact that... I chose to have a baby sister. I love you, sissy. I love you too. Aw, group hug. <laughs>